Well, Lake Mead may be one of the most mysterious bodies of water in America. And tonight, divers have uncovered its latest secret. The nation's largest reservoir has plummeted to about a quarter of its size due to a historic drought. But that's allowed crews to uncover pieces of the past. Last month, human remains were found in a rusted out barrel suspected of being the result of an execution carried out by the mob. Tonight, a vessel from World War II has started to emerge. A boat built back in the early 1940s by a man named Andrew Higgins, whose work would eventually be credited with winning World War II. This Higgins landing craft was once used to survey the Colorado River before it was sold to a marina and sank. For years, it sat 185 feet below the surface and became a popular diving site. It was recently photographed by Mark Sanson, who runs the YouTube channel called The Other Me. And Mark joins us tonight. Thank you so much for being here. We want to start by just asking, how did you find this? Well, I had a tip from a very good friend of mine who is out at the marina quite a bit. And they told me that there was a large boat coming to the surface that they believed to be a military transport boat. So then I ran out there and uh, hiked over the hills to try and find it. And I watched that video. It was a long hike, hot conditions. Can you speak to the historical significance of this discovery potentially? Well, this boat, in my research, I'm seeing that there is less than 20 of these boats left in the world today. And the Higgins boat is, as you said earlier, credited with helping win the war. So this is a very large part of American history right here that is coming to service at Lake Mead. So what else do you believe could be inside? Do you have any insight? Inside the boat? Correct. Um, I, I wouldn't think that anything from the war would be inside the boat. Maybe some of what the crew had, uh, back in, I don't know, the forties and fifties when they were using it to survey the, the Colorado river, I believe, because I believe it was sold to Lake Mead for that purpose. It was never used in the war. So I would think if anything's in the boat, it would, it would have something to do with Lake Mead and, and the crews that were uh, using it then. Well, do you believe stories like this are causing this area to become even more of a tourist attraction? And what can the public learn from a discovery like this? Um, I do believe that it is causing it to become more of a tourist attraction. I think there are a lot of people that are wanting to go out to Lake Mead to make the profound discovery. Um, the thing is that I'm out there documenting, documenting what's happening to the lake uh, to document it as the water goes down and to show the significance of some of these finds as where some other people might not have the exact same thought as I have right now. And the only other thing I can think of is, um, or the only other thing I can, the significance of this boat to me is that it was under 185 feet of water and now it's surfacing. And that shows you just how much the lake is going down. Do you know what else could potentially be in this lake? Um, <laughs> well, rumors are that there's more bodies in the lake. There's a B-29 airplane sunk in the lake. There are a lot of boats that are in the, that are surfacing all over the lake. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if any other, uh, horrifying finds, significant historical finds pop up in the future. So what happens to these crafts now, Mark? Um, you know, and that's been a, a subject, uh, a lot of questions have been asked to me as to are we going to go out and start cleaning this stuff up? I don't know any plans. I haven't seen any plans by Lake Mead or city council or anything to go out and start cleaning up the abandoned remains of these boats. I do 100% think that we should take this particular boat out of the lake and preserve it historically. Uh, not not necessarily restore the boat itself, but since it is such a significant part of U.S. history, it should probably be preserved and put in a museum somewhere. So I know you get a lot of inquiries. What drew you to this site? To Lake Mead? Um, what was funny about the whole Lake Mead thing is, is I went out there to have lunch. And um, I, I went out to have lunch and people were talking about how low the water was. I hadn't been out there in a year. 
and I went out and from one year to the year that I just went out a couple weeks ago to see the water level, I was just astounded by how much the water went down. And from that point on, I was like, I have to document this. I have to show people what's happening out here at Lake Mead. And um, as I've been documenting, more and more things like this have been coming to the surface. Wow. Well, it's certainly interesting. We appreciate your insight and this video. It's, it's fascinating. Mark Swanson, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.